Hi there, GoodGolf here, with a new video on Gaia Pro. After my last video there were a few comments and questions uh, to the video, and questions about showing more of Gaia Pro, but also uh, some comments about the uh, performance of the, of the new version of Gaia Pro. So today we will look into more of the features, we will explore multi-terrain and how well that goes. I will show you around in the various menus of Gaia Pro and uh, in the last section of this video we will show the HD pipeline renderer and how that went for me and um, not that great actually but we'll see later on. Okay let's first take a look at creating multiple terrains so in, uh, I will start with a demo showing uh, 8x8 uh, terrain with the default settings. Uh, so this is a little bit of a view what you can expect to happen when you just take the default session, the default settings and start creating a terrain. And initially it all goes fairly well. Uh, so the uh, terrain is created, takes um, 30 seconds or so to create an 8x8, so 64 tiles. And then basically start uh, using the, the stamper to create the, uh, the terrain itself. Again, uh, it works. It's a bit, a bit sluggish, but it works. And uh, the fun really starts when you start uh, enabling the, the spawners. So that's what happens uh, a bit later on. Check all of the spawners. And uh, uh, after the final stamp, just enable them and run them. So let's see what happens. Well, I sped up the video uh, 64 times because it's really, really slow process. But that's not the biggest problem. Basically, it fails. Uh, at a certain spawner, it, uh, it basically crashes Unity. Unity is still open, but my machine is, uh, let's say, breathing heavily. And it's uh, it, it basically stops, so that was not the uh, the success I hoped it would be. So okay, then let's try again with a four times four terrain. So sixteen tiles is a bit smoother, um, still a bit sluggish, but not that much as with uh, eight by eight. Before you start stamping, make sure you first disable the spawners and then with the last uh, stamp you can enable them again so the whole spawning, spawning process starts. As you can see, it all works pretty decent. Few slow moments, few hiccups perhaps, but overall it's pretty comfortable to uh, create a terrain like this with the Gaia Pro with the stamps. Stamping operations do take a bit of time. You have to be patient if it's uh, more than a one by one or a single terrain basically. Do the final stamp and the process starts. Again I uh, did increase the, uh, the video speed a bit, a hundred times, because it does take time. And so it for a 4x4 terrain, it's ready in 33 minutes, so you have to be patient. Create the additional components, player, skies, water, wind, screenshotter. Takes a little while to get all created. Fairly fast though. So let's run now. And that's where the fun starts. It really takes a while to start after pressing the run. So two minutes after pressing the start button, it starts, but to be frank, it's very sluggish. So basically, this isn't workable. Okay, is this Gaia's fault? Or is this, as I stated before, perhaps the whole setup of terrain in Unity? We're running with uh, 16 terrain tiles, lots of objects on it, and it simply doesn't work. As you can see, very sluggish movement. 
I didn't even have the patience to wait until I uh, entered the terrain itself. I'm just still walking on water. So what I did next is uh, ri run a comparison with Map Magic, uh, just to see, okay, do they perform much better? Well, technically, yes. However, as you can see, they also only create a couple of terrains. In this case, there's only four terrains active. And as soon as you are close to a boundary, uh, it starts creating new terrain. So it's, it's much more of a runtime terrain generation. But as you can see, as we walk through the terrain, new terrains get created, but they never run more than four enabled at once. So I think that is an important thing to notice that yeah, the whole idea of creating, let's say, 16 or 64 terrain tiles is not going to work in Unity. And yes, okay, perhaps uh, there should be some warnings around this in, um, in, uh, in Gaia Pro, or at least some suggestions that you should really not do this. Or yes, perhaps in the future, uh, procedural worlds will include something to uh, like what Map Magic is doing, if I recall correctly, I think they even have a, um, a separate asset uh, for this. But you should um, be aware that simply creating a 4x4, 8x8 terrain is not going to fly on an, let's say, above average machine uh, I'm running this on. Okay, it's not a top notch machine, but it's got a high-end uh, graphics cards, uh, serious uh, memory, and it simply doesn't work. Still, uh, creating multiple terrains with Gaia, if you ask me, still a good plan. Okay, let's walk you around a little bit in the... Uh, what's that, what else is in uh, Gaia Pro? As you can see, there is a uh, an easy way to switch the render pipelines. We will look at that later. You can easily uh, do uh, new world settings, all kinds of presets. As I showed the last time, I think uh, you can easily add uh, biomes, change the spawners, some extras uh, like the, the controller, which gets put into the scene. Really nice uh, setup features for your terrain. In the advanced section, stuff around terrain creation, adding biomes again, change or add spawners, some additional functions, and yes, it is a beta. Stuff is still being worked on, so some of the tools we were used to are not there yet. As I mentioned last time, my favorite is the random um, the random creation of, uh, of terrain isn't there yet. Show some system info and you can uh, easily get uh, help by pressing on the um, question mark. As it says here, all the steps for uh, rendering pipeline. If you go to the stamp browser, there's lots of interesting stamps uh, involved here, included in the package. Uh, you can add your own. Uh, I think there are still some tools which uh, are not available yet around stamps in Gaia Pro, but that's probably coming. A quick show of the features of the mask preview. Some of the settings around the stamper. Okay, next is the HDRP pipeline. And huge disclaimer here, first time ever for me I work with this, so I'm far from the expert. So I thought, no, let's just do uh, the steps. And in the setup, there's an option to uh, change the render pipeline with uh, quite a bit of uh, explanation. In this case, I started with an uh, HDRP project I've tried it in two uh, different versions, 2019.1, uh, 2019.2. Start with a regular um, project, start with HDRP. Uh, 
basically start creating uh, stuff. So far, so good. You've got lots of dialogues, uh, lots of small conversions in between. It looks really promising. But to be fair, in my case, I couldn't get it to work. Um, again, back to the disclaimer, I may be doing something wrong. I just followed the steps from a uh, standard scene and it did work for me. Uh, however, in the uh, procedural wor world's Discord channel, there are examples of people who get pretty far with this uh, pipeline setup. Not me. Tried it a couple of times, but hey, you know, perhaps again uh, a beta feature. Uh, perhaps it is, uh, perhaps the whole uh, render pipeline is a bit of a fickle thing. Um, so just to manage expectations, if this is what you want uh, the Gaia beta for, make sure you check a few things. For example, in the uh, Discord channel, uh, first ask questions to the Procedural Worlds team. Pretty sure they will be happy to uh, answer any questions either in the forum, in the Unity forum, or on the Discord channel. Uh, but be aware it's not a, um, uh, a one-button-click, all-works kind of thing yet. Basically, the first part of creating the stuff in uh, the HDRP setup, uh, using the stamper, clicking on the spawners, all goes fairly well. But in my case, once I start play, it, basically the system all freezes up. So, okay, hopefully uh, this will all improve over time. And again, it's a better product. Things will change. Things are being worked on. And I will uh, keep you uh, updated on uh, my progress here. I think multiple terrain, as I mentioned before, probably something which will only be uh, much better if uh, Unity makes changes to the terrain setup. So you may need additional assets to make that work. And the HDRP, well, okay, you know what? Hopefully better in the next version. Okay, guys, thanks a lot.